Hello everybody, AJ Ryzik here, and today we are reviewing Ubuntu Budgie 17.04. Now, Ubuntu Budgie was previously known as Budgie Remix, but now it is a, an official part of the Ubuntu family of distributions, so hence the new name. Now, if you are not familiar with Budgie, Budgie is the default desktop and was developed by the team over at Solus and uh, this this desktop environment has been ported over to Ubuntu and uh, really really nice desktop environment as it is uh, pretty configurable uh, and I think it is very intuitive as far as how it works and the folks over at Ubuntu Bund Budgie they have put their own personal spin on this it's 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 a pretty unique uh, uh, setup as far as um, not just Ubuntu uh, uh, OS's, but uh, others out there as well. They've got a, an interesting selection of, uh, of applications, um, real nice desktop environment. So um, let's, let's just get started with, uh, with the Welcome Center. Uh, so you got this little welcome screen here. A lot of, a lot of distributions have those these days. Um, it's got some uh, some of the basic things that you normally see you know links to various social media chat community how to get involved how to donate um, introduction some useful information there on what is Ubuntu Budgie talks a little bit about their core objectives and and that sort of thing a little bit about the Budgie desktop features um, you know kind of highlight some of the big things there um, getting started good section to check out if you are new it's got lots of information here if you are new to either just Linux in general or just the the budgie desktop uh, recommendations there's some good stuff there too on tweaking things setting things up that sort of thing uh, stuff that I really like though got a, a quick link to get right to the software center for installing more software and then uh, default settings. This one, uh, this is something I think that every uh, every distribution needs to have. You got a reset button to reset your uh, the budgie panel back to the default settings. So uh, you know, kind of how awesome is that? Uh, so really like that. And uh, they got this switch appearance thing right here. It tells you that uh, Ubuntu budgie uses the Arc theme as its default theme. Um, but it talks a little bit about emerging uh, material design themes and so right from here you can go and uh, install some other material design themes adapta both actually both adapta and vimix are ones that i like um, let's just go ahead and we'll we'll install vimix click the install button give it a few minutes All right, it is downloaded and installed. We can go and apply that theme now, and boom, there it is with that theme applied. Pretty nice. Let me just take a look and see. Let me open something up here so that we can see your uh, how your windows are laid. I, I like the look. Uh, very nice. And of course, you can always go back to the. Uh, to the previous uh, uh, to the arc theme uh, you could also go and install this other material th theme called adapta it's another one that I've used I really like it as well uh, definitely worth checking out so let's take a look at our default desktop layout you can see that we have a single panel across the top and then we've got a dock over on our left hand side and so looking at the panel over on the top left hand corner we've got our menu you can either click it or you can use the Windows slash super key to open and close it, whichever you like. It's got a integrated search function, very snappy. So let's say we're looking for LibreOffice Writer. Boom, real quick, it'll pull that up for you. It's a very nice menu there. Um, here in the center, we have our time date, that sort of thing. And you can go to, uh, you can click on it and go to your time date settings and tweak it a little bit there, however you want to set it up. And you also have a quick link there if you want to open up calendar. Go and click that. It'll open up the GNOME calendar, which I have 
GNOME calendar synced to my uh, to my Google Calendar account so you can see all that stuff will pop up anything that you've got set up on Google Calendar so very nice on on that as well over on our right hand side we've got our tray icons you can see this little red dot there that is for simple screen recorder which is what I'm using to record this video then we've got our internet connection we've got our sound slash volume um, our notifications actually I'm sorry that one right there that one is uh, that one's a places indicator so um, if you want like quick links to various drives um, you know network folders that sort of thing you can you can go to that then we've got our notifications then we've got our volume indicator power indicator and this little um, I don't even know what you want to call that indicator right here but if you don't click on that that opens up the Raven side panel and so by default Raven side panel you've got your calendar right there you got a volume switcher right there you can switch around the uh, input and output for you know headsets microphones all that kind of stuff and then uh, coming down to the bottom uh, whatever it is that you've got playing on Rhythmbox you can control here and you'll also have uh, uh, you'll be able to move on to the next item and uh, you also see the artwork for the cover so very nice on that come up to notifications and I've got no notifications right now so nothing really to see here but they they would be listed right there and if you click the gear icon from here you can go and tweak budgie settings uh, general you can go and change the different uh, the, the theming uh, so you know we we switched to Vimex dark but say that we wanted the uh, oh I don't know the uh, instead of the paper icons we wanted the faba icons we could go and switch that from here um, or you know the high color or what whatever we wanted to do you can go and tweak that from here um, I'm just gonna leave them as is because I am fine with what we've got so we got that you can go and tweak your background uh, you can turn on and off de uh, desktop icons, um, change your fonts if you like, all that kind of stuff. And then if you want to go and tweak your panel layout, go to where it says panel, and then from here you can tweak the panel layout. You can move it top, bottom, left, right, all that kind of stuff, uh, size of the panel, uh, what, uh, what indicators, applets, that sort of thing you want installed. So very nice. Um, and I have found that everything uh, is just working great right out of the box. Um, no issues. The panel, when I go and set it up, no crashes, no, you know, whatever I do to it, it, it responds accordingly and no issues whatsoever. Over on the left hand side, our dock is Plank. Um, doesn't have a ton of features but I think it's got the basics covered and for those who are looking for a dock I, I think they've got you they, they've going to have what you need um, it doesn't have a lot of the bling and animations and that kind of thing that you see in some of the other docks but uh, very functional um, let me go to our plank dock uh, preferences we'll open that up and so you got different theming options um, you can go left right top bottom you know wherever you want to go with it so I like that um, alignment so you can go top bottom center fill the whole side up whatever you want to do icon size so you can grow it shrink it whatever works for you Uh, you can pick which monitor if you're on multiple monitors you can go and select where you want that um, you could do an icon zoom on there if you want so you can see how I'm doing it there you get a little bit of a zoom behavior uh, I know a lot of people like that effect uh, under behavior how how you want the dock hidden you can uh, do an intelligent hide auto hide and, uh, all kinds of options there uh, hide delay unhide delay uh, item management uh, some other docklets that you can add to it so 
all kinds of options there. So definitely, uh, it's a nice it's a nice docking application. Like I said, it just it doesn't have uh, a lot of the a lot of the animations and and uh, bling, I guess you'd call it, that uh, some of the other dock applications out there have. So let's take a look at some of the applications. I'm not going to go through every one, but I am going to point out just a few things that I have found that, um, while not completely unheard of, it's it's generally not what you see as far as default applications in a Linux distribution, uh, or at least as far as as uh, Ubuntu distributions go. So let's come down here to. Um, well, first of all, uh, we'll just go down to uh, under Internet. We've got Chromium for our web browser, uh, as opposed to Firefox, which is uh, probably 95% of distributions out there use Firefox. But we've got Chromium web browser, Geary email. Uh, if you're not familiar with Geary, it is an email program, and it is email only. Um, so, you know with with evolution and thunderbird if you have the lightning extension you know you've got the calendar you got all these extra functions uh geary is meant to be a imap email reader period or well and you know write email and that sort of thing but there's not all the extra like the calendar functions and and planners and all that kind of stuff it's email but very snappy applications it's very easy to use it's very easy to set up it is uh, you know for those of you who have used uh, the kmail program for email uh, which is part of the uh, kde desktop you know this is the polar opposite the you know kmail is has so many options it is a nightmare to set up this uh, not a lot of options but it is super simple easy to set up and at the same time, you know, I think they got the basis covered for somebody that just wants a email client that is going to deal with email and nothing else. So it's it's a great program. Uh, definitely worth checking out if you just need basic email features. So they got that going on. Um, for a terminal, they have Terminex. Now, if you're not familiar with Terminex, very uh, very interesting terminal program here so you know if you're just using a single terminal uh, no big deal if you have multiple things that you want to be doing in the terminal at the same time you've got that option here we can go and add a down terminal okay and uh, while we're down here we can now go and add one to the side we can add another one to the side up here so you can have basically four terminals running at the same time you can see them all um, so for somebody that does a lot of work in the terminal, very nice program. And let me find some of the other uh, unusual, uncommon, however you want to say it. Um, so we got GNOME MVP, MPV for our uh, for our video player. A lot of a lot of times we see Totem. Which was which was the uh, the um, the default GNOME uh, video player. Also see VLC a lot of times. GNOME MPV though, very nice program. I've used it in the past. Really really good. Um, I think for the most part that kind of covers the. Um, I don't want to call them unusual, but uncommonly set up as as default program kind of thing. Um, yeah, that pretty much covers them. While we're on the subject, let's take a look at our performance here and look at our resources. We are running 2.2 gigs of RAM right now is what we're using up. Now, to kind of put that into perspective, though, uh, I have a web browser open. I'm running a screen recorder. I am running a webcam recorder. Um, so I've got a, quite a few things running right now. Um, 
so looking at that RAM usage, you know, I, I would classify this desktop as kind of a middleweight. It's definitely not super lightweight like LXDE or, or anything like that. Uh, but it's definitely not a, uh, a memory hog like, uh, like the GNOME desktop, um, sometimes KDE. Uh, definitely Unity. Unity uses up a lot of resources. So everything has worked out of the box. There has been zero crashes, zero errors. Everything has worked exactly the way it's supposed to. So uh, definitely two thumbs up there. And probably the next question people are going to ask is, since Budgie is the default desktop environment for uh, desktop environment for Solus, should I use Ubuntu Budgie or uh, Solus? And uh, definitely a good question. Uh, performance wise like I said this one is good Solus, uh, Solus is awesome on the performance as well um, personally you know and, and and recognizing that I am definitely a big fan of the Solus project I would use Solus uh, however the uh, the Solus uh, software repositories are not as large as that in Ubuntu so if there is an application that uh, is just not available in the Solus repositories, then uh, definitely uh, uh, Ubuntu Budgie is the way to go. Um, having said that, there the the Solus repositories are extensive enough that I think in most cases you're going to find what you want there. Um, for everything that I do, I can get it all on Solus, and I think. 99% of people are going to be in the same boat. Um, also recognize that the stuff that is in the Ubuntu repositories is uh, certainly not maintained as well as it is in Solus. And, is, and it, you know, your core applications are, but uh, uh, I don't think that uh, that everything is, especially the stuff that is, you know, not used that often. Um, there have been many times on uh, on uh, Ubuntu that I have gone and looked up a particular piece of software within the repositories and come to find out there have been maybe a half dozen releases since the version in Ubuntu uh, you know was, was set up. So uh, you know uh, there is more software there, but how well it is maintained uh, you know it may not be uh, it, it may have been sitting out there in the in the software repository for a long time unmaintained unupdated that sort of thing so me personally I am going to go with with Solus um, but this this distribution is a freaking awesome uh, distribution. If you are going to use Ubuntu, I mean, if I was going to be on a Ubuntu base, this is probably where I'd be. For me, I, I'm a big time GNOME 3 fan, so it would be a toss up between uh, Ubuntu Budgie and Ubuntu GNOME for me. Uh, I will say that uh, I ran into a couple of errors on Ubuntu GNOME. I have run into zero here on Ubuntu Budgie. So great, great distribution. Um, if you're going to be on Ubuntu, uh, the Budgie desktop, definitely check it out. Give this distribution a try um, because I think for most people, it's going to uh, it's going to have all your bases covered. And having said that, I think that just about finishes this video up. If you've got any comments, questions, all that kind of stuff, please leave it down below. I try to get to it as soon as possible. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. If you are a subscriber, please share this video with all your friends and whatnot so that we can try and get more subscribers on this channel. And as always, I hope to see you all on my next video. Thanks a lot.